What's up guys? We are doing a video for guitar number two on the Easy Christmas Suite. All right, so this is gonna be a long video, but kind of just take it in chunks and, you know, do what you can. All right, so we're starting with two rests. So I count you off one, two, three, go two, three, and then we go rest, rest, three, one, two, three, what was due uh, or what's being due this week all right so at 25 you take over the melody all right so we'll talk about that but all those eighth note rhythms just make sure and count them one two three and one two three don't get excited um, and and rush them but just kind of relax hear those individual notes and make sure that the beat is just very consistent, right? That's the biggest part of this piece because you're playing with a quintet and uh, you're an important part, but you got to play in time. All right, so let's look at 26. You have this rhythm, one and three and one, three and one, two, three, one. All right, so you've heard this. This sounds like the melody of the first Noel, so that's what you're doing. You're actually playing the melody. So you have, one more time, this is 26 past the double bar. All right, so right 26, here we go. One, two, three, one, and three, and one, three, and one, two, three, one, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, three, and one. And then we're back. We're going to do the same thing. It's the same melody, just two times in a row. So let's play it now. Here we go. One, you have a C. That's your, that's your lowest note, right? Uh, it's that C, third fret, fifth string. And then you come in with a D, E, F, open G. All right, so let's play that five times. Eh, we'll play it a couple times, sorry. I think I'm in class. Here we go. One two three go two three one two and three and one two three and one two simple stuff right you just kind of gotta get the rhythms in your head so rewind this part a couple times make sure that you're good before you go on all right now uh, right there at 41 you go back to harmony so no big deal just half notes followed by quarters one two three one two three one two three And you're whole and you're done. You're at 49 or yeah, 49. We start with uh good king. All right. So good king, we change the common time. All right. So common time is four four. So four beats a measure. We were in three, we're going to four. Don't worry, there's a retardando that is going to kind of end that section, and then I'm gonna count you off because this is a quick quicker section. So one ready, go. One, two, one, two, and you got a bunch of like half notes. So let's just play that. 
pretty slow. We'll go faster in in, uh, in class. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, two. So you do, <laughs> it's all right, I looked at it and I was like, wow, there's a lot. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. You do that 12 times, right? So be careful with that time. Whenever we play something that is um, repeating itself a lot, we have to have to be counting because if not, we'll end up at the wrong space at the wrong time. Now, let's go to 61, all right? Let's go to 61. So you have one, two, three, and four, all right? Three and four and. So this is this is kind of the quick part, right? So let me talk about those little things that are going like this between notes. They're not ties because ties would break the bar line, right? So these are actually hammer-ons and pull-offs. So when you hammer on something, you play the first note, which is a G, and then you strike the string, but you don't pick it. So watch. Notice how my finger just struck the note and it made a sound. That's a hammer-on. It's actually... Um, it's actually quicker than, and it sounds a little bit smoother than if you actually play it. All right. So that is when the note goes up. So when you're at a G and you go to an A, it's a hammer on. All right. Now, when you're going from the E to the D, this is your E, right? Second fret, fifth, fourth string. When you play this E to pull off, all you do is pull down. All right. So notice how my finger was still holding on to the note. And all I did was pull down. And all of a sudden, a note came out. That is a pull off. So this whole section is pretty easy, but you got to spend some time with it because those hammer-ons and pull-offs got to be real consistent. So it's 60. Let's go a little bit slower. So one, or 61, sorry. One, two, ready, and go, and... So no big deal, no big deal, everything's going going good. And then the last little section, we're on Oh Come All You Faithful. Not really crazy. Oh Come All You Faithful, Joyful and Triumphant. Right, really nice song. Um, we're gonna start with three um, beats of rest. Sorry, I got some in my eye. So you have one, two, three. Those are your three beats of rest. And this one will be just a little bit slower than the uh, Good King. All right, so all, uh, one, Two, three, four, 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 and So harmonic, uh, we'll talk about that in class, but um, there's, a, there's a lot to it. So we'll talk about the harmonic in class. And actually, we've talked about harmonics, but I'm not sure if, if you remember. So 12th fret, 4th string, that's that D harmonic. 
okay now um one thing i forgot to mention back at good king was that we're actually in a different tonal center so we're in g sharp and we have an f sharp in the key signature so f sharp second fret first string and f sharp fourth fret fourth string all right nothing too crazy but rather important because you know if we don't play them they sound uh really bad so c sharps also at 77 and 79 c sharp second fret second string you know this all right no big deal uh so we went all the all the, all the way through that up to 85 so let's just start at the harmonic so you're at one two three four one two So let's talk about those. You have a bunch of notes, and they're they're a little quick. But remember the arpeggios that we were practicing on uh, the notebook. I think it was like 34, 35, and we used the right hand. That's all you're going to be doing. You're going to be playing some chords with the right hand. So your first chord is uh, so it's just the kind of like a D suspended without the A. So open D, open G, D, and then G. So you have, and on this hand, you can use one, two, three, four, or P, I, M, A, right? So, and that will actually help you get through the entire section because all you're doing is you're alternating little things, not crazy things, but like at 94, you go. So, so not, not not crazy stuff, but definitely stuff that takes some time, all right? Especially right there at 95 when you have the G, D, F sharp, D, back to G, right? And then open to C, so... but it's it's going to take some time all right so let's keep on plugging away uh, right there 100 one two and three and four and one two and three one two oh sorry 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 four four one two three four one two three four one two three four and one and two and and it looks like it repeats that first section that you played above so that It's kind of a uneventful ending, but <laughs> you have one uh, right there at one oh nine, one and two, three and four and one and two. Of uneventful for you but uh, when you play it all together it's saying great so uh, I hope this video helped um, it's it's long but I know that you can do this all right I'll catch you guys in class